In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a lightning logo reveal animation inside HitFilm Pro. So let's take a look at what we're creating today. We are going to use Neon Path Effect to create this animation which is available in HitFilm Pro. We can also use the Neon Path inside HitFilm Express as well. So if you go to the link in the description, scroll down until you find VFX Neon Lights Pack. Just cost $20, just uh, purchase this, install this and you'll have the Neon Path Effect in HitFilm Express as well. But if you are a HitFilm Pro user, you don't have to do anything. Just continue watching this tutorial so we're going to create a new composite shot and i'm going to call this main duration let's make this um 10 seconds long 19 20 10 80 30 fps click on ok then we are going to use a text layer so this animation doesn't work on a logo so you cannot import your own custom logo and uh, create this animation but what you can do is you can convert your logo into a font and then you can use your font to create this animation uh, there are tons of tutorials on youtube on how to convert your logos into fonts you can watch that um, so what i'm going to do is create a new text layer and i'm going to type in f on the keyboard and i'm going to go to text tab and i'm going to use this font called logos dfp so click on that and you can just increase the font size and you can see that the F letter is, repla is replaced with this logo. So I can change that to any other letter. So let's say G which will change that to Intel. H will be this master logo but so on and so forth. So we're going to use this Intel one. Um, I'm going to hit Control A and scale this up. And I'm going to go to layout and center this just like that. Right, so then we are going to rename this layer to logo and then we're going to apply neon path effect on this. So go to effects, search for neon path, apply it on this layer, go to controls, expand the neon path, set the path from, change it to text because that is what we are using, set the blend to none. Then we are going to change the settings in the path and change some settings in the core as well so make sure your player is at the very first frame and i'm going to animate the start width end width i'm going to animate the evolution and the extension so the start width we're going to set that to five and the end width to zero i'm going to set the evolution to zero and extension to zero as well now move forward to two second and increase the start width to 10 and width to 10 evolution to 0 and extension to 100 so if you play this animation this is how it is going to look and uh, yeah evolution we have to change that so let's see the keyframes go to two second and change this to two rotations so if you play this this is how it is going to look and let's go to core and here we can change some settings you can control the width here and um, let's just leave it as it is to 100 percent you can change the color just set white right now we need to decrease the feather to zero and then you have the distortion so we're going to increase the distortion value to around 35 and you can see we already get these uh this sort of lighting effect and we can change the type to energy and you can play around with the distortion value you also have the noise uh, which you can play around with so uh, if you increase this it's going to look more smoother if you decrease it it's going to look much you know like lightning so if you just set that to 37 Play around with the bias uh, and just how to basically play around with these settings and the next step is flicker so let's go inside that and it's set to zero 
if you want flickering then you should just increase this value which will just create this flickering effect I just leave that to zero I don't want any flicker and then in the inner glow we can play around with that as well so you can change the color and stuff like that but I just maybe want to decrease the width so maybe something like that okay so far so good then we are going to create a new grade layer and we're going to apply zoom blur effect on this let's apply it on this layer and then we're going to animate the zoom blur set the strength to 100 expand the center which we are going to animate so we'll go after two second so let's go to two second where our animation ends and create a keyframe on position let's change the position to the left of our screen so somewhere over here and then we'll go to three second and move it to the right side so you can hold the control key and click on this number and we'll just uh, swap the position so we'll have something like this now we will just suppress this zoom blur inside our logo and for that we'll need to use the curves effect applied on this layer and we're going to go to the alpha channel and just load down the amount so somewhere out there so let this scrub through the timeline and uh, it's gonna look something like that right so it's looking pretty weird because we just have to right click on the layer go to blend and set this to screen uh, it's going to look much better right so maybe a bit more let's just decrease this okay so something like that after that we'll just duplicate the logo or the text layer duplicate it and put it at the top and we can just uh, delete the neon path effect from it okay and then we can just go to three second three seconds and a three second and five frame and i can just create a keyframe on opacity set that to zero go to three second and 25 frame and set that to 100 i'm going to now go to the main logo on which the neon path is applied go to transform create a keyframe and opacity set that to 100 and go to three second and 25 frames and set that to zero so we'll have this simple transition from the uh, the electric logo to your solid logo so um that's and what i also like to do is i like to change the size of the text if i can just select it and decrease it size and you can go to layout and center this up and now we'll have this kind of effect but the cool thing about this these fonts is that you can change the logo pretty easily so if you select this logo layer and um, go to effects uh, sorry the text tab and you can just change it to just type just hit any key on the keyboard like Q for example it's going to change to this uh, text right over here uh, you can just use anything that you want All right so just about it that's how we can create this animation in hit film um, thank you for watching this video I hope this video was helpful if it was do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel I'll see you guys in the next one